The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com, where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. We'll begin here with a few definitions. That being for the near point and the uh, far point. Begin, let's begin here with the near point. The near point is the shortest distance of the object to the eye for which the image can be clearly brought to focus on the retina. Thus, the near point depends on how short the eye can make its focal point. In a normal eye, the near point is roughly 25 centimeters. Moreover, when a normal eye is focused at a near point, that's when the lens is considered to be fully accommodated or we can say it's the point of maximum accommodation and any closer and the image will not be clearly brought to focus on the retina. In contrast to the near point, the far point is the furthest distance of the object to the eye for which the image can be clearly brought to focus on the retina. In a normal eye, this is essentially infinity. For example, when we look at distant objects, such as far off buildings or say even the moon, we can see such objects and their details. Thus, our vision for a distant object is essentially infinity and is limited only by the size of the object. Great, let's now proceed to our next slide and do an example where we can contrast the near point and the far point. If we take a look here, example finding focal length. Let's begin by reading our problem. If the eye is taken as a single lens at a distance of 2.5 centimeters from the retina, what is the focal length of the lens when it focuses on an object at its near point and at infinity? And we're given the near point as 25 centimeters. So what we'll do is we'll first find the focal length for when the object is, is at its near point and then for when the object is at infinity. Let's get started and we'll begin with the, the lens equation. Coming over here, the lens equation is as follows. Next, we can just go ahead and fill in our values. The object's distance is 25 centimeters since it's at its near point, and the image distance from the lens is 2.5 centimeters. And upon solving, we find that the uh, focal length of the lens is 2.3 centimeters when it focuses on an object at its near point of 25 centimeters. Next, let's find the focal length of the lens when an object is located at infinity. And once again, we just take our lens equation and we fill in our values. The object is located at infinity and the image distance from the lens is 2.5 centimeters and upon solving we find that the focal length of the lens is 2.5 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and compare our answers. Now as we see here the focal length is shorter when the eye focuses on an object at the near point. Intuitively this should make sense. Recall this is when the lens is thicker as the ciliary muscles are tense and the change and they uh, excuse me and they change the radius of curvature of the lens so the image can be clearly brought to focus on the retina. Next, let's take a look at some conditions that impact the near point and the uh, far point. And we'll begin here by taking a look at uh, what happens to the lens in near point as we age. If we come down here and we begin with 27, 27B, as 